Nice to see you. Another day, another blog. Joke of the day. Number one. I made so many mistakes while working on this project. I don't know what to do. Number two. Your next work will be a masterpiece. I believe in you. This joke is about when we think we are done, when we think there is no way out and we feel pessimistic, it's very important to encourage, find the way to lift ourselves up. Like in the joke, number two is a friend of number one and saying, I believe in you. Since you did so many mistakes this time, then there is less possibility that you will repeat them and you will be successful. So number two is saying, I believe in you. Try again. Your next project will be amazing. We do not meet people by accident. They are here to help us in some way. Some people are teaching us patience and others how to have fun. Our responsibility is to learn these lessons. The creator is in charge. So everything what happens in our life, uh, it has purpose. Uh, I am here to tell you how great the Creator is and you are ready to listen and this is wonderful. I am so grateful to be in this position. Uh, so our friends, family members, people on the street, they all uh, have some kind of purpose, maybe co-workers too. Uh, some are frustrating us uh, to teach us how to be patient. Other ones make us happy and encourage us and tell jokes and um, want to spend quality time with us. So they want us to have fun and enjoy this life. So every person is there to teach us valuable lesson and every person is sent by God because that person might teach us a valuable lesson and maybe give us a new idea how to succeed in life. The Creator was asking me to walk away from this functional lifestyle for many years. I always would find excuse to procrastinate. I delayed myself from having a wonderful life. Hope was not lost because I really did want to live in love, peace and joy. I took small steps towards my goal. One day I was consciously ready to make a decision to reconnect with the Creator. This choice gave me extra strength to overcome any difficulty that would come my way. This means I walked away from the victim mentality. I reminded myself that I'm a child of God. Our values matter. We can stand strong in our power when the Creator is with us. The next part of the blog is saying my example, that I lived in dysfunctional lifestyle for many years and God was like, come on, how long are you going to tolerate this lifestyle? You're strong enough to walk away, but I didn't. However, my heart's desire was to have an amazing life where 
people would accept me as I am and I would have a wonderful life with my loved ones. So I did my best to, to achieve that. Uh, however, when I choose to reconnect with the Creator, then my life became much better than before. Of course, there were, uh, were many challenges to overcome because uh, when we are stepping away from dysfunctional uh, lifestyle, if people who got used to manipulate us and put us down doesn't like our new choice and would like to invite us to stay uh, with them. However, I found courage and say no, put boundaries, and it helped me to rebuild a new life. And this time, I know it will be amazing because I am not doing it on my own. I am doing it with the Creator. How wonderful is this? All right, the very last part of the blog is saying our values matter. So, for example, my value is to have amazing life. And when dysfunction likes to come to my mind or through people, uh, I get alert. I get alert and understand uh, this mindset and these people are not for me. So I usually walk away or say no to them because now I value myself and my time more than ever. We can stand strong in the power when the Creator is with us. So now I know that the Creator is with me, so I have more confidence in myself to say no to negativity and live the life of my dreams. So let's have a toast to new beginnings and future success. I believe in you.